Now I want to talk about cars. I've got a few more surprises for you. Tegra K1's got a few more things up its sleeves. Don't forget the heritage of this processor. First of all, we've had a love affair with the automotive industry for two decades. Our engagement with the automotive industry started with design, and we eventually moved into styling as we introduced computational, uh, comput computational rendering. We then moved into simulation and engineering when we introduced GPU computing with Tesla. So now it could be used in fluid dynamics and crash simulations. And as we improved the visual quality of rendering to the point where it's nearly photorealistic, we are now able to use our technology for marketing and sales as well. You're going to see some really exciting innovations in this area using the original data of the car design for marketing, for sales, for even point of sales. We've also, with the help and the tutoring and the mentoring of some wonderful customers, introduced us to in-car electronics. And over the last several years, we've learned so much about this field. We came into it because we felt that the car was going to become one of the richest areas where we can make a contribution with visual computing. What you see when you're driving, what you experience when you're driving, the industrial design of the car matters so much. But because we also know that GPU computing was going to be used in such exciting ways that we believe that parallel computing was going to revolutionize the way that a car is built altogether. We're working in multiple areas now in the car. All the way from the beginning of styling and design, all the way into the car, from how it looks to how it drives. But let me show you a few things first. When you come to an NVIDIA conference, you have, always have to see beautiful graphics. And so uh, let me just show you now what state-of-the-art, physically-based computer graphics looks like. Now, what I'm, what I'm standing in front of is not a photograph, it is real time. So let's, um, Sean, why don't we t take it for a spin, and why don't you twirl it around just one time, and then, okay, so let me just show you, let me just explain to you what just happened. In that moment, when Sean changed the view of this car in real time, a supercomputer in Santa Clara simulated the light rays of a few billion rays bounced all around this environment through the glass, reflected off the glass, refracted off the glass, through other glass, bounced off the upholstery inside, comes back out, goes through the headlights, the multiple layers of crystals inside the headlights, bounces all around, and eventually enters your eyes. This light simulation, interacting with physically accurate materials. The car paint is physically modeled, and that's why you could almost feel like you could touch it. Okay, all of this stuff is simulated in a supercomputer in Santa Clara. So of course, you could imagine a retail shop being able to configure your own car and design it on a tablet and simulate it and render it exactly as it will look for your customers. Why don't we spin around a couple more times? Look at the headlights. Now, what you're seeing in the sparkles is ultimately that pixel hasn't been resolved yet. We're still waiting to accumulate all the light rays that are bouncing all over that environment. And as we're, you sit here and, and just kind of look around, you realize as you're looking around, it's resolving this image in real time. The world's first real-time interactive ray tracing engine that's physically accurate. It looks like it's sitting right in front of you. Okay, let's take a look at the one more view. Now, let's um, help me, help me uh, let's go back and, and configure it a bit. 
Okay, let's, so what you were looking at is actually a tool and has these materials that you can select. So you like, you like white. How about let's just pick one, one other. Orange, nah, come on, something aggressive. Something that Justin Bieber would like. Like say, chrome. Let's make one for Justin, there you go. The world's first chrome car. Pretty fantastic. And it's physically modeled, so it looks so real. It looks just so real. Okay, good job, thank you very much. <clears throat> so this is how NVIDIA's technology is used in design and styling. Now, we've been in the car industry for a long time. Almost every single car that you see on the road uh, is designed with our technology at some, at some point. But we're also inside about four and a half million cars now and we're designed into some 20 more brands with 100 more models coming. Millions more cars will come with NVIDIA technology inside. We're just incredibly excited by the cool cars that we're in. The Audi A3 is just a revolutionary car. If you ever get a chance to drive that, uh, I'd really urge you to take a look at that. And of course, uh, the new BMW i3 and i8, and the Tesla model, um, the Tesla sedan, and also the, the, uh, the te Tesla uh, crossover that's coming out, Model X, okay? So, lots of cars.